Let's talk about China now. Last week, we told you about some statements made by PLA officials. They said India does not pose a threat to them. And now India's military leadership seems to be giving a response to them. The Indian Navy is demonstrating its capabilities. They've conducted drills in the Arabian Sea. These drills involved India's biggest warships, INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant, plus 35 aircraft and other warships. Together, they're called carrier battle groups. What are they? A carrier battle group is a naval fleet. It consists of an aircraft carrier, which is at the front, and a large number of ships around it. The carrier is capable of launching ships and choppers. It's like a complete package, a floating air base of sorts. So what is the purpose of this exercise? Power projection, showcasing the Indian Navy's ability to operate, not just in the immediate water surrounding India, but beyond as well. Here is what a spokesperson of the Navy said about the drills, and I'm quoting, the demonstration of naval prowess underscores India's commitment to safeguarding its national interests, maintaining regional stability, and fostering cooperative partnerships in the maritime domain. The Indian Navy is upgrading its capabilities. It is gearing up to meet the China challenge. You see, recent events at the border have led to a revelation. The PLA is a threat, not just on land, but also at sea. At the same time, India is at a vantage point on the high seas. There are key sea routes in the region. These are essential to the Chinese economy. I'm talking about the likes of Malacca Strait. This is a narrow waterway and a major vulnerability for China. In 2016, almost 80% of China's oil imports came through here. Also about 20% of the global maritime trade and 60% of China's trade inflows, they go through this region. So this route is vital for China and its economy and India is in a position to block it. Recent reports say that India is also planning a new naval base. It will be built on the Great Nicobar Island. This base will overlook the entrance to the Malacca Strait. It will give clear tactical advantages to India, so provocation in the Himalayas may be answered from the Great Nicobar Island. India could consider blocking Chinese tankers, and from the same base, India would be in a position to watch Chinese movements in the Indian Ocean. Also monitor China in the South China Sea. Remember, this is another major international flashpoint, the South China Sea. And such a base is increasingly critical for India because Chinese activities in the Indian Ocean are growing. Consider what India's Navy chief said in the month of April, and I'm quoting, we're keeping a very close watch in the Indian Ocean region. An effort is to know whose presence is there and what they're up to, monitoring it 24-7, and we deploy aircraft, UAV, ships, submarines, etc. China, you know, has the world's biggest Navy. And it's expanding. It is building more warships. The PLA has plans to deploy more assets to the Indian Ocean region. Today, China has two carriers, Liaoning and Shandong. And they're working on a third one. It's called Fujian. Then there are Chinese bases in the region, like Djibouti and Gwadar in the west, and Hamban Tota in the south. So the trajectory is quite clear. China is building capacity to control this region in every theater of conflict. So India's best bet is to prepare and these drills by the Indian Navy show that New Delhi is firming up its defenses.